Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see step by step installation of dependent operating system in Oracle VM VirtualBox. So first of all, we need to create one VM for this installation. So let's click on new to start a wizard. Here I am going to specify the name which is dpin 15.8 and from type I am going to select Linux and the version I am going to select Debian 64. Click on next. Here I am going to specify memory which will be a 2GB in my case. Let's click on next. Let's click on create to create a new virtual hard disk. Click on next again. Next again. And here I am going to specify the size which will be a 40GB in my case. Let's click on create to create a VM. Once you create a VM, we need to change certain settings. So for that you need to select your VM and then you need to click on settings icon. Here I am going to click on system. The first thing which I want to change is the boot order. I am going to remove floppy disk from here. And I want to set hard disk as my first boot. So optical will be our uh, second boot option. Now I am going to click on processor. I want to make it 2 CPU count. Then uh, I am going to click on uh, display. Here we have a video memory which I want 128 MB. I am going to select enable 3D acceleration. Now I am going to click on storage. Here we need to specify the ISO image. By using that we are going to install the TPN operating system. So let's click on empty and from here you need to browse the path which will be a TPN 15.8 as you can see the ISO image. This ISO image you can download from TPN website. Uh, link will be given in the description section. I select it. So now as you can see ISO image is mounted successfully. I'm going to click on network as well and from here I'm going to select bridge adapter because I want that during the installation I want to connect our virtual machine to the internet connection as well. So let's click on OK button and now hit on start button to start a VM. Select install deepen and press enter key. This is the first screen which we are seeing. On this screen we need to select a system language which will be a definitely English in our case. Let's click on next to continue. And on this screen as you can see end user license agreement is there and we are not able to click on accept until you scroll this. Now we have options to click on accept. Okay here we are receiving a friendly reminder. Uh, it is saying us that we are using virtual machine that is going to affect your system performance and operation experience. For smooth operation it is recommended us to use a real machine environment. Let's click on continue. Uh, here you have to specify your username as well as computer name as well as password. Okay let's specify the password as well. Here we have options to change user account picture. So if you want to change this picture you can click over here. Uh, you have a plenty of other options from there you can select the picture. I'm going to select this one and now I'm going to click on next to continue. This virtual machine is already connected with internet connection. That's why you can see time zone is already selected. But if you are in a different time zone so you can change as per your time zone. I'm happy with Kolkata. Let's click on next to continue. On this console we need to select installation location. Here we have a total three options. First one is a simple, this is for beginner. Uh, second one is advanced where you can specify partitioning. Uh, third one is full disk. If you want to use entire hard disk to install deepen, that time you can select the, this one. For this demonstration, I'm going to select simple one. Let's select the hard disk and let's click on start installation. Now here uh, we are receiving one more message. Prepare for installation. So it is telling us that if any important data is there on your hard disk, you should have to pick up that important data and you have to store somewhere else because this operation is going to format our hard disk with the new partition table. It is also going to create new partition and the mount point will be slash and the file system will be ext4. If you are okay with this then you can click on continue. If you want to change any other settings that time you can click on back 
and uh, you can change other options and once you are happy with it then you can click on continue installation process will take some time to complete because the deep end operating system is coming with very heavy desktop experience uh, that's why it is going to take some time once installation process complete you need to restart your computer okay as you can see installation process has completed successfully now here we are seeing the message reboot to enjoy the new experience with deep end hope you like it Please remove the installation media before reboot. So let's click on experience now. And on the first boot, you are seeing the two options are there. First one is Deepen 15.8 GNU Linux and the second one is Advanced Options for Deepen. Once you select the first option, press Enter key. And here we go. On the login screen, you need to specify user's password which we have set earlier. And hit enter. Uh, here we are again receiving one friendly reminder. System has detected that you are using a virtual machine, which will going to affect the system performance. So here we have a two options: effect mode and common mode. Effect mode have a smooth and delicate experience, and common mode, which is for fast performance. So we're going with uh, effect mode. Let's click on close. Now uh, I'm going to click on launcher and here we go. Whatever applications we have available on our computer, uh, you are able to see here. As you can see, Google Chrome is there, WPS Writer is there, Deepen Store is there, Thunderbird Mail Client is there. Uh, here we have one more options if you want a category view. So there you go. Here we have a internet, music, video, graphics, office. So all those options are available to us and one more options is there if you click over here that time you can see uh, we don't have a full screen here we have a menu from where we can search all these options if you want again on a full screen mode that time you have to click over here and let's click over here as well so this is the default options now let's click on control center icon here we have uh, some options as well uh, as you can see we are running in virtual machine that's why it will take time to load everything uh, here we can see account information is there personalization options network related settings date and time related settings and here we have a system information as well uh, right now as you can see uh, we are receiving message that uh, updates detected uh, click to view so you need to update this computer as well that concludes the video demonstration on step-by-step -step guide to install Deepen 15.8 in VirtualBox.